Hey everyone, this is Jared, Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Lima. And recently a very interesting question came up in the IC7610 Facebook group, or one of them. And that was, um, does the IC7610's monitor function give you a good impression of what your transmitted audio is like? Now, my experience with its baby brother, the IC7300, is that it absolutely did not give you a good impression of what the transmitted audio was like. The 7300 audio had more bass, it was higher fidelity, the, the highs went much higher. Now, they did try and put a little bit of effort into shaping it with the, the, um, the filters as you change the filter, but when I listened to it on a separate receiver, it sounded nothing like my transmitted audio. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this, and it's not necessarily a design flaw of the monitor function in any radio. So firstly, I'll say that with the, the, the new SDR radios, they're most certainly doing their monitoring in the FPGA. So basically they're, they're sampling the audio after it's basically gone through the AF processor um, or, or the digital uh, analog to digital converter. And then basically just feeding you that back, maybe with a little bit of shaping and that sort of thing. Now you might say, well, is that, is that a bit of a shortcoming? Well. The answer is it's not really, because even in a traditional superhet radio, generally speaking, there's always a limitation to where the audio is monitored. Now, you know, in a, in a world-class design, um, and I'm not aware of a specific radio, someone can comment and tell me if, if, someone, if there is a radio that does it like this, you'd have your monitoring done um, after the PA stage, and then you'd have to use basically uh, another um, uh, receiver to, to um, de demodulate it, decode it and feed it back into your audio. So it, it could be done that way, but it's a heck of a lot of work. And the honest answer is, that's not what the monitor function is there for. It's not to give you an idea of your transmitted audio. Um, so you might ask, well, what is the, monitor the purpose of the monitor function? Now, I'll, I'll just show you what I'm talking about on the radio. It's, uh, and I know you can't see too well, but you press menu, menu one, sorry, you press menu, and it's the third one across, Moni, and you can turn Moni on or off. And basically what that does is just output your voice in real time through the phones, uh, through some headphones that are plugged in, or your speakers. Now, if you're gonna use it, you don't wanna have, you wanna be having headphones on, um, otherwise you're gonna you know, start getting an echo and that sort of thing, and that's not a good thing. So anyway, um, you know, if you, you might ask, what's the purpose of the monitor function? And there is a good purpose, because if you look at all commercial broadcast stations, you always see you know, the, the DJ or the presenter wearing a set of headphones and, and then close talking into, a, into a nice big microphone like this. Um, and why do they do that? Well, the simple answer is, when you wear headphones, it helps you control the volume of your voice. It, it gives you a feedback loop into your, you know, with your brain, as to how much, uh, how much, how loud the microphone is picking up your voice, and it, it helps you fine tune and keep your voice at a very, um, in a very narrow dynamic range, and it helps you avoid those really high and talking loud, or really soft and just whispering like this. And so basically, it, it basically it helps keep your voice at a more even level, and that's what the monitoring function's really for. It's if you want to put out a beautiful signal, you get a nice microphone like this, you plug your headphones in, you turn monitoring on, and even without using the compressor, you're going to, you're going to improve the, or squish down the, the dynamic range in your voice by about 10 dB. So it's gonna give you a little bit more torque power just by using the monitoring function. So it's a fantastic function but it's not there to give you an idea of your transmitted audio. If you wanna do that, the best way is to have a, a second receiver with like a little rubber ducky or something on, or even an attenuator if you're putting out a massive signal. Uh, and why do I say that? It's because you can, even if you sample after the PA stage of your radio, say with an inline sampler, that doesn't give you a great idea of what your transmitted audio is actually like. It doesn't tell you what's coming out of your station. It won't tell you if you've got a bad joint in your antenna that's arcing over on your voice peaks. It won't tell you if you've got a bad connector, once again, arcing over on your voice peaks. So if you really wanna know those things, 
you need to monitor it with a separate receiver and with it not in line with your um, main antenna system, but with its own antenna. So hopefully that answers the question. Does the IC7610 monitored audio reflect what you transmit? Almost certainly not. And I can tell you that without testing. Is that a problem? Absolutely not, because that's not what monitoring's for. It's there to help you keep your voice level, and that's it. And in that, in that regards, I recommend more people use it. If, you, if you're serious about your audio quality, get yourself a boom mic. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. Almost any cheap mic will do a great job with the built-in EQ. Uh, these radios, they sound absolutely terrific. They've got highs and lows. You're going to be able to do a great job, even with you know a $20 condenser that, that fits on a boom mic. Now, I, I recommend dynamic over condensers. Bob Heyer will tell you a lot about that. Basically, condensers pick up everything in the room. That said, they still can sound quite nice. You don't need to spend a lot of money. If you're serious about your audio, get a boom mic, use, get some nice headphones, use the monitoring function, and there you go. You're gonna, you're gonna narrow the range of your, trans, of, your, of, your, of your vocal, your voice, sorry, narrow the dynamic range. That's gonna increase your transmitted power. It's gonna make it easier on your ALC, your compressor, uh, your compressor. And, and basically, yeah, that's, it's, it's a step up in signal quality. That's what it's there for, use it. Anyway, this is VK3BL. And um, Happy New Year, and I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas.